so in the tracker, of course, you can you should be able to you should know that you can expand each month and track, you know, celebrate at the end of each week, like yay, I did one this week, or yay, I did two this week, or whatever. And to make it even more useful for yourself, you could insert a comment um, or a note. What's the difference? Uh, a comment is automatic. Oh, where did it go? Oh, it's um, I'm sorry, I have to shrink my screen. I don't know where the comment went. Oh, there it is. Um, the comment testing one, two, three, I'm not going to do it right now, but it, it, and it automatically has a timestamp. It's almost like little posts for yourself throughout. And then you'll be able to see all your comments in, in, uh, in here. Now, be sure to make a copy for yourself before you start inserting comments, because this is the template for everybody. Uh, I really should have, uh, have called this, you know, in fact, I'm going to do this right now, template. Okay, so make a copy, then you can start inserting. Now, if you insert just a note, it will it will not have a timestamp. You can you know uh, you know, it'll, it'll just look like that. So I think comments are generally more fun. You could play with it, but uh, but yeah. So um, you, your comments and your comments can include links, and links will be clickable within comments. Links are not clickable within notes. So something to to consider using in this tracker. Oh, and then of course remember you can always collapse the month by clicking on the minus sign. So plus to expand it minus to collapse so you can you can of course open up multiple months at once if you'd like to